Hi everyone, I'm Brandon from the Tech Pirate. Today, I've got something a little different. Uh, I just got in the Surface Go 2. I've been really enjoying it, I've only been using it for a few days, but I think it's capable enough to do more than what you'd think. So as a challenge to myself, I'm gonna only use the Surface Go 2 as my primary desktop and my primary laptop for the next 30 days. Uh, I'm currently recording this on the 30th of November. I'm going to, here in a few seconds, kind of show you what I'm replacing, uh, what I'm going to be able to do with this. Uh, there, there are some caveats. Of course, I'm a gamer. This is not a gaming device. This is not going to work for gaming. But Shadow Cloud Gaming PC could be an interesting option. So I'm going to give that a go. There will be a, a report on, on Shadow uh, probably at the end of this 30-day experiment. Um, I'm also going to continue to run my uh, gaming desktop, but uh, only in streaming mode. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I don't know that I'll be able to truly stick to this, but if I don't, I'll let you know where I failed and uh, what possible mitigation options there are for it. But, yeah, I'm kind of excited. So, let's take a look at my current setup and, yeah, see what I'm giving up for the next uh, 30 days. So, here we have the battle station, as well as the kind of secondary computer back there, and then my laptop. I do, of course you can see from the wallpaper, Star Citizen. I've got a flight stick for Microsoft Flight Sim. I've got a uh, headphone amplifier uh, DAC uh, with a professional microphone, what is that, XM2 or something like that, that's the microphone you see in my videos, so all of that stuff feeds in, my little light, to my desktop, and it's, it's a little dirty, so yeah, and then uh, here's my Trusty Latitude E5570. It's got a 6th gen. I think it's a i5-6600. Yeah, 6600U. Um, yeah, it's worked out pretty well. It just upgraded to a 1 terabyte NVMe drive in it and uh, 32 gigs of RAM. That way I can do some coding and some light video work. So that's going to get put in its case and not taken out until the new year. Uh, well, if the experiment goes well. My desktop, though, like I said, I'm going to keep that running and use uh, Steam in-home streaming in order to continue to be able to game. There is some stuff that uh, the tablet natively can game on, and it's I'll uh, go into that in a video as well. But yeah, so that's my setup for, for right now. We'll... Uh, Cut back to me sitting in the chair, talk a little bit more about the specs, specs for the gaming lap, gaming desktop, uh, as well as how I plan to still be able to use the setup and controllers and keyboard and monitors and all that, what I'm going to be using to uh, do some port replication on that little Surface 2 Go. All right, sitting back in front of the, the desktop. So I've got in it the uh, Ryzen 7 2700 8-core. Uh, I've got 32 gigs of uh, memory. I've got a, let's see, this would be a standard 2.5-inch SATA 1-terabyte drive. I've got a 2-terabyte spinning disk for storage. And then a 2-terabyte uh, NVMe drive. Uh, for graphics card, I've got a GeForce RTX 2070 Super. And, yeah, overall, I just uh, built this setup, I want to say at the start of the year. 
and it has been fantastic. I do uh, Star Citizen. I've been consistently able to get a playable fa- frame rate out of the game. Um, Arma 3 is another game we play quite a bit. It is fantastic for that. I haven't thrown a game at it. And then, uh, especially with the widescreen, the super widescreen that I use, it's... I've never found a point where I've needed more power than this so far. Now, I would never say no to more power because, let's face it, who's going to say no to more frame rate? But it's been fantastic for my needs. It'll be interesting to see how uh, Steam in-home streaming works. Uh, I know there... I think they've also put that out to just general use. I was messing around and saw that I could stream stuff from outside of the house the other day when I was at work on my Surface. I didn't actually try it because I was at work. But uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see that. I originally had not anticipated having access to Shadow. I only ordered it about a week ago. Uh, The initial message I had was that it was going to take until the end of December for me to get. So I was a little bummed when then I got the Surface Go to, and it was just so much better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I was really mostly just looking for something to replace my 10-inch Android tablet that I could take handwritten notes on. And considering most of the you know Samsung line that have the S Pen start getting up into the ra- the price range of a full Windows tablet. It was kind of a no-brainer for me to to make that leap and, and get the Surface Go instead of an Android tablet. Um, I will, of course, be working on a, a full review for the uh, Surface tablet. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I've only had it for a few days. I'm really impressed on what it can do. The last uh, Surface device I had, aside from the Duo, was the... Uh, Pro 3. I had an i7 model, and Surface Pro 3 with the i7 was great in bursts, but (laughs) as anyone who had one could attest, it thermal throttled terribly. Uh, I mean, it just, it didn't have the cooling for that kind of chip, and because that generation was, I think, a fourth gen? I think it was only a two core, so I mean, uh, and I may be wrong about the Surface Go, but I think it's got a f- four-core uh, M3 in it. No, no, no. Two-core, four logical processors. Something. It, honestly, from from my interactions with it so far, it's honestly felt more like that Pro 3 I had than a, a budget device or something that is slow or ungainly. Um, I've had it hooked up to a a docking station once already. Um, I tried the one at work just to see if, if the docking station we use for the Dells, which is a a type C display port, uh, dual display docking station, if that would work to charge in and run it, it does. I'm in the process of looking for one of those on eBay because I'd really like to, to use that. Um, just cause I think USB three, uh, or the USB C jack is going to be the way to go. So I know it can run two monitors and, you know, web browser and tabs and stuff like that. But for now, and we'll, uh, pause for just a second and come back and I'll show you what I'm going to do for now on the, uh, the bigger screen since here shortly, I'm going to be disconnecting the monitors from from the gaming desktop and moving on over to the Surface Go 2. All right, back. So, the uh, pluggable... There we go. Uh, pluggable makes a USB 3.0 dock. Uh, this is actually the one that I used when I had a Surface Pro 3. Um, this sat on my desk at the... Uh, internet service provider that I worked at. I plugged my Surface Pro in and that was my primary work computer. Uh, That way when I'd have to go out in the field I could unplug it, 
go out into the field and have the exact same information I was just looking at already pulled up, ready to go. Um, it's actually how I approach my current job. Um, they gave me the option of either having a desktop and a laptop or a laptop with a docking station. And I pounced on the laptop with the docking station. It just, for me and for my style, it makes more sense for me to use a single device, have everything open that I need open. That way I can do my research in the office, close the lid, unplug it, walk out, and when I get on site, open it back up and I've got my reference material just right there ready to go. So, yeah, this is my old docking station. Uh, I already know one issue with it. Uh, because it uses USB 3.0 uh, for the host signal, um, it's not going to have the performance I will want for gaming, even for game streaming. Um, game streaming already adds a little bit of latency into the mix. Having a USB 3.0 controller that then sends display signals out is going to be another bottleneck and another place where latency can kind of creep its way in. So to remove this as a variable, um, like I said, I am going to be working on getting a USB uh, USB-C display port uh, docking station, which I did test and it worked fantastic for for the you know 15 minutes that I had it up during a break. Um, you know everything was a lot more responsive even than than this. Now, having said that, if you are in the market for something just to add some displays to you know, an existing laptop or something, this, this pluggable dock is a wonderful way to go. It, it works. It's just not, it's not gaming friendly. Um, you could, you know, when I had the Surface Pro 3, it was able to do some gaming, you know, Minecraft and stuff like that, but you could tell there was a little bit of lag added into it. Um, Never really bothered me enough to, to make a big deal of it back then, but it also wouldn't what I was using only, uh, you know, primarily. Uh, using the Surface Go 2 for the next 30 days, though, that little bit of lag would be one of those things that would annoy me just enough that I'd be tempted to just kick the desktop back over onto one of the displays. And I'm, I'm trying to limit as much of that on the onset that I can so that I can, you know, potentially have a good run and actually make, you know, make the full 30 day transition to the, to the surface go it. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see what happens. So hopefully you'll stick with me. I think I've talked your ear off long enough about, uh, what I've got going on. So yeah, I think uh, I'll try and put a video out a week on kind of, you know, hardware feelings, how things are going with the transition. Uh, I've also got a potential video coming up for a little stocking stuffer. Sorry about my dog in the background. Hope you all have a wonderful day.